Hello, in this session we will talk about multidimensional online analytical processing. This is Hassan Mir from 02protraining.com. First thing first, MOLAP stands for multidimensional online analytical processing. In a typical environment in an enterprise, there are multiple online transaction processing systems running. For example, ERP is a type of OLTP system where transactions are happening frequently and the system is tuned to capture transactions in a fast manner, but it's not very well tuned to run deep analytical queries. So for that reason, in order to reduce the burden of querying on the OLTP systems, data is periodically moved from all the OLTP systems to a data warehouse called Online Analytical Processing System. And the process of moving the data from the OLTP system to OLAP is called Extract, Transform, and Load, because it's not simply copying and pasting here the data has to be extracted, it has to be transformed, sometimes aggregated, and then load into the data warehouse. So two main types of online analytical processing systems available are relational systems and multidimensional system. So instead of focusing on multidimensional OLAPs, both relational and multidimensional OLAP allows multidimensional data modeling for data analysis. The main difference is not whether one allows multidimensional modeling and the other does not, the main difference comes in pre-calculation. Multidimensional OLAPs keeps pre-calculated data as we are going to see next. So let's say we have a table in our transaction system and let's say we are capturing these dimensions for a transaction. We are storing which product was sold, in which region it was sold, and for what price it was sold, and in which period it was sold and what category the product belongs to. And let's say management will like to perform queries based on the region sales and period. So a cube is created based on these three dimensions in the online analytical processing system and based on this cube management can perform queries pretty fast. So pre-calculated data will be capped in the warehouse based on these three dimensions. How to store data efficiently? This is governed by various methodologies that are available. And this ETL here is indicating the extract, transform, and load process that we just talked about. This is the process of moving data periodically from OLTP system into a warehouse. Important thing to note here is that cubes are created for a given range of questions. So we already know in advance these are the questions that management will be asking the system periodically. For each type of question, a cube has to be ready in the system so that data could be given back to the reports. So the point to note is that we should know the type of questions that will be asked in advance. And the response is pretty fast. It is usually well indexed and the way data is capped in the cubes, it results into a very fast performance. Most OLAP solutions offer multidimensional indexing and caching. The way data is stored in online analytical processing systems in cubes, it takes less space compared to the size it will take if it's stored in the relational databases where the data is kept in tables. In multidimensional OLAPs, the compression is much better than relational OLAPs. Another advantage of multidimensional OLAP is that when data is stored in cubes, aggregates are automatically calculated. However, it does have disadvantages. For example, it comes with limited flexibility. So management will be asking the predefined questions. And if they ask some question that was not known in, in advance, then a cube may not be ready to answer that question. And it's going to take some time to create a new cube and to load that cube. And even it takes time to load existing cubes. Keep in mind that data has to be refreshed periodically from OLTP system into any online an analytical processing system using ETL process and in multidimensional OLAPs it takes time to refresh the cubes. To save time of loading the cubes companies focus on doing an incremental refresh rather than recreating cube from scratch. There might be some duplication introduced depending on the methodology that is being used. Some examples of multidimensional OLAP solutions out there include Hyperion SBase from Oracle. Oracle 
database OLAP option so we can install this option on a regular Oracle database then we can store cubes in that database we have Cognos Power Play which is a major player TM1 Palo is an open source solution MicroStrategy Microsoft Analysis Services and Board Toolkit